This video will help you understand the difference between a utility and a design patent and which one works best for your invention. So one of the examples that I have for you today is a watch. There are multiple ways of protecting this watch. Um, now, if I wanted to protect the functionality of my watch, so essentially the mechanism inside of how it works or even where the dial is and how the dial works to change the time or any other functionality within the watch, even a new clasp, for example, that would be covered under a utility patent. Now, if I wanted to cover the design of my watch, the face of the watch, how I have the metal around it, the glass on top, I could protect that with a design patent. Now, let's look at the anatomy of a patent and look at the difference of what the two of them look like. So when looking at a patent, how do you know if it is a design or utility patent? Let's look at the anatomy of a patent. Now here we have a design patent in front of me and you'll notice that the number here, the patent number, patent of the, the number of the issued patent starts with a T and that means that this is a design patent. Additionally, you'll notice that there's only one claim right here and it's the ornamental design. In this case, it's for a, a watch dial and you'll have the description of four figures in this case. So you'll have the four figures and that's it. This is the end of the design pant. Whereas for a utility pant, first of all, you'll notice that the patent number does not have that letter D in front of the patent number. In addition, you'll notice that there is a lot of wording on the patent. You will find some drawings as well. And then at the end of the patent, you will see what we call the claims. And this is really the meets and bounds of your intellectual property for utility patents. And this is what you're trying to protect. Everything else is an explanation and a definition of what you want to protect here. The design patents will cover your design. Essentially, what you send here in your drawings is your design and is what you want to protect. So if someone was to make this square, so if someone decided to change this watch face to a square design and move the numbers around and move the dials around, you would no longer be protected. What you're protected for here is these drawings and what this looks like. So. If this was looking different, you're not protected anymore. Whereas it takes a little bit more work to infringe and get around a utility patent. You would need to look at the claims, look at uh, some of those limitations of that claim. As far as time frame goes and length of the process, it is typically easier and shorter to obtain a design patent than it is to obtain a utility patent, unless you expedite the process and pay the extra fee. Now you can do that for both of them. Design patents tend to be cheaper than utility patents. You can protect your design with fees uh, for around $3,000, maybe less than that. Whereas utility patents tend to be more expensive, somewhere between um, five or 6,000 going all the way up to $15,000, depending on the complexity of your invention. The level of protection is also different as we just discussed. Here for the design patent, you're covering what your design looks like. Whereas for the utility patent, you are looking to cover the functionality. So essentially you're covering more than just one way of doing things usually and more than one embodiment and different ways of achieving that same functionality. I hope this helps and helps answer some of your questions regarding the difference between a design patent and a utility patent and which one will work best for your case and depending on what you want to protect. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop your questions and comments below and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next video.